Hello guys, Gagush9 here again with Let's Play Lost Wins. In the last video, uh, we got tasked with finding the memory chests of Dio. Because there's some rather ingenious um, hiding plan and stuff like that. And in this episode, we're going to go off to the mines because that's supposedly where the second of these chests are. Give me the leaves. Alright. <laughs> Screw you. Ah, another one. Ah. Okay, why are the leaves not going off? Alright. Alright, I have a feeling we're going to need this rock. Alright, so... So anyways... <laughs> getting a slow start here. Um, let's see... Okay, as you can see, this has been blocked off at some point. However, we lack the means of getting through there. Because as um, Emerald said in the last video, the, the mines that we have to go to are pretty much where in the same cave that we found Emerald. So... Now we're just going to have to find a different way in another rock. You get down. <laughs> and I'm taking the rock with me just in case I need it. Although really, I don't really... I can't really use this thing anyways. So, um... Yep. Yeah. Well, I got the rock up there, but I didn't get me up there, right? <laughs> I probably don't even need that rock, too. Watch, I've been wasting time. Alright. Just get rid of you. There we go. Jeez, I don't know why that wasn't working. But yeah, uh, obviously I'm going to be spending a bit of time in the mine, mainly because this is actually where the majority of the game's idols are. So, um, definitely a lot of time is going to be spent here, and yeah, as I thought, I didn't need the rock. And we're immediately in the cave. Now, in order to get to the mines, it's supposedly going to be at the bottom right corner of this cave area. Let's see, I think if you burn this... I think this leads you back out to that one path. Either that, or it leads you to the mines. Oh, and it leads you to the mines! Alright! <laughs> Don't know how that works geologically. Alright. Alright, come on. Die already. There we go. They all make, make farting sounds too, I love this. Come on, there we go. Oh, come on! Directions. There we go, killed you. Alright, so yeah, at, like I was saying, the mine is the location of the grand majority of these, um, idols. I mean, probably not the majority, but you do find a lot here, so... Uh, there might be a lot of pausing for me, like, just standing around for a few seconds just to make sure I know where all these idols are. Let's see, switch... Okay, one of these. I need, I need a rock, obviously. Okay, so let's see... If we go down here, you'll notice a melodious statue and a crystal wall. However, rocks will have no effect on the crystal wall, so... And another door right here. Again, nothing that we can do right now. Some of you can probably take a guess at what's going to happen right about now. But uh, first, let's get this rock up here. And... Yay! First try, alright. Save some time. And here we find a gigantic drill. And... Our third shrine. And this is actually the last shrine of the game, unfortunately. Like I said, this game is a really, 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 really short one. And as this is the last shrine of the game, this is the last ability that Enril learns in this game as well. However, it's not the last unlock, like, upgrade that we get, so... There is one more thing. Anyways. Congratulations, you now have the power of Vortex. So basically how you use Vortex, this, you kind of saw me trying to do this earlier on. You draw a circle around an object, and you'll suspend them in air. And then if you gust them, well, stuff happens. Now they also introduce a new item here. The um, I call them windstones. You can see, and you have a crystal wall here. If you see, if you blow the, uh, the windstone thing, it makes music. And so what happens if you use Vortex on this thing? It breaks the crystal walls. And you can see there's a crystal door here now, so we're going to do the same thing. And there you go. Wind zones double as one, an invincible boulder, and two, a way, the only way to defeat the crystal walls. And here we got a new enemy. Um, I know their name, however, it's extremely hard to pronounce, so I'm just going to call them Stone Glorbs. <laughs> It's like some K thing. Basically, as, as you just saw, it, and here's uh, how Vortex works. Basically, the vo that's why I meant if I'm 
that one thing being an invincible boulder. They kill those uh, stone creatures. Basically, when they're still wrapped up as a stone, because they can actually come out and they'll look like stone crabs. Basically, um... Uh, let's see, make sure that I don't skip an idol. Um... You, uh, uh... Oh, wow. Orange one. Yeah, see, this is what I was trying to get to. Ah, I have so many things going on at once. And there's your 11th idol. Interesting how these things are. Oh, that was weird. Uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to kill the uh, Leap Lords with uh, the Vortex than, yeah, Nina, that stone. But basically, when that stone thing is still rolled up into a ball, Vortex it and then slam it on the ground, it'll produce two Glorbs, and then you can kill it just as you would a normal Glorb. Those are pretty much the last of the enemies that we'll be dealing with in this game, too, so you don't really have to worry about any more uh, tricks except for the end of the game. But anyways, this is kind of how Vortex works. As you saw with that stone thing, so this is the only way you can break down these uh these uh, boarded up walls. So there's that. So when we go back to that one area near the hilltop village, that's how we break. You know, that's why they provided us with stones. And you can see here, yeah, look, he's a stone crab. Oh, it actually worked that way. And sometimes you can actually save yourself a um a trouble by actually using the the stone glorb as you just saw as a boulder and collapsing one of those walls as I just did. So it definitely does save you some time. <laughs> and uh, let's see if there's another boulder around here so I can open that up. Alright, I need a lot of stones. Wow, alright. Come on, Tuku. Alright, so down here. Another really easy to find idol. Just, you know, burn that and there you go. That's number 12. So we're halfway through the idols in this game. And here's a stone. So let's go ahead and get this up there. Oh, damn it. No, oh, ah. Wind! There we go. Ah, oh, that worked perfectly, alright. So, uh, oh, come on. Alright, there we go. Nah, excuse me. And then, just do that. And there you go. So let's see what's over here for a sec. Wow, I can't believe that counted. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty lenient when it comes to uh, the, uh, the circle command with, you know, all that stuff. There's a wooden stone right there. And that opens that up. Oh, damn. Alright. Alright, obviously I gotta find a way to open up the one above that. Let's see. Over here is a crystal wall, so that's obviously where we get the, uh... Use the wind stone. There's another crystal wall. <laughs> Must have skipped something, because... Obviously I need this wind stone in order to get over there. So obviously there's probably something over to the left that I've missed. And quite interesting uh, backdrop in the in the background there. Let's see. Yeah, I can't get up there. All right. That's what I kind of like about Lost Winds a bit. It is pretty um, open up and stuff, and I don't have a boulder. Oh well, let's improvise. Nah, it didn't work. Oh wow, it, it just collapsed. Basically, you don't have to use a boulder in order to collapse these things. I think it's just seen right there. All you need is just an object to use. And let's see, I got nothing to hold this down, though. Let's see. Let's get this up there. Come on. Come on. There we go. And now let's try and get this on the switch. Or... Oh, wow. It... It's... It stays on. Alright, that, that's kind of helpful. I guess they kind of realized they were... You know, there was not going to be any, um... Stones and... Checking for idols. Let's see, alright. We're good. Alright, so now we can use this wisdom to progress forward. Ah. <sighs> well, I'm surprised I didn't uh, do the thing. Usually when you suspend these rocks, it does make them a little bit easier to uh, manipulate them. Alright, that was easy. Yeah, I, what you can do is that, um, in order to give you a clue about how to use these windstones, if you actually bring a windstone very close to a, a, one of these crystal gates, as you just saw right now, you'll see the thing um, hum a little bit, so that kind of tells you that you're supposed to um, do this. Now, the, uh, the, the path to the right is actually the way forward. Nah, I fell all the way down. Uh, so we want to go on the path to the left first, because there's actually something there we want to get first. Oh, come on, how's that not work? Alright. And we're going to here. We'll find a little cave from Nidal. If you'll notice, this is actually the room where we got the Vortex ability. So, yeah, a little hidden off. But yeah, there is Nidal 13. 
So that's three in one video already. And this is only video four, too. We're already so far in the... Whoa, that was weird. We're already so far in the game, we're only at video four. This game, like I said, is just cruelly short. Let's see, here's some glories on the windstone. And there's our fourth idol of this area already. Oh, they were nice and generous about that. Alright, let's get this up here. Nope. Ah. Ah! Alright, well, there's idol 14. <laughs> come on, stay up there. There we go. Oh, come on! There we go. And now, if you'll carefully notice... We're right back where we kind of started with these mines. Oh, oh wow, I'm surprised that didn't hurt. <laughs> I miss it. That must have been painful, though. But uh, likely we're in, back in the vortex room. We'll go ahead and, uh, let's see, do this. And I believe that's the last crystal door of this game, too, so... Kind of a odd little thing they had there. Alright, let's go ahead and continue forward. I'm only at about 11 minutes, so I can keep going. And a mushroom to get out. We got another one of these rock creatures. Ah. No crap. Oh, okay, I need you. Alright. Let's uh let's try and be careful about this. No. Alright, there we go. No! Ah! Damn it! <sighs> Damn it, now I gotta look for something. Shoot. There's gotta be something around here. Oh, here's a rock. Alright. Damn, I could have saved myself a lot of time if I just Managed to do that in one go, but uh, let's just use this rock, I guess. There we go. I probably should have lured that thing a little closer to the switch. And that's this is why I wanted that rock, because so I can get this puzzle done. But I'm gonna have to compromise with this plant here. Come on, please. Thank you! <laughs> Three flippin' minutes later, I finally managed to get that one fruit on that one damn switch. Now I gotta try making a miracle and get on the other switch. Oh god. Oh, we blew up. Alright. The reason why I wanted to get over to this is because there's idol 15, but we also need this Poyak seed. My god, I'm definitely cutting that out, but I mean, that was just ridiculous. Now, now I gotta put another one on there. and Of course the thing blows up. No, ah. God damn it, I'm gonna spend another three minutes getting this thing on here. <laughs> this is why I wanted the rock, because it's... Uh, uh, there we go. Because the fruit can be so ridiculous to get onto this damn switch. Yeah, I'm definitely cutting that one part out. This is... Ugh, that was horrible. Alright. So you can kind of notice that you saw some little ground here. This is where we plant the Poyak. Because it's pretty useless on that other area. And since there's no water nearby, it'll automatically grow, so y'all don't have to worry about that. Let's see what we're getting over here. We should be getting close to the uh, third memory chest. I would think anyways. I don't know. Like I said, the mine is probably the... Well, I don't think I said it, but the mine is pretty much one of the biggest places in this area. I mean, in this game. So you're going to be spending a lot of time here, and uh, obviously we need a rock, so I guess we'll be using this Koyak. I like that name, Poyak. Alright, Glor's over there. Let's see, we got a uh, fire thing. We got a plant spot here. Oh, let's see. Ah, I can't get up there. Okay, what well, I think I have to do is that I gotta use the fire on this Poyak. Because technically you don't really need this Poyak. Because you'll see, as you as you just seen, you'll be surprised how effective two gusts can be. Anyways, we'll plant the Poyak here, and again, since there's no water, it's going to grow automatically. And if you shoot us up here, we'll find a windstone. And, um, uh, now, uh, no, no, come on. Ah, uh, uh, God damn it. Alright, let's try this again. I don't know why I'm such a, having such difficulty in this video. Or recording, I guess. I don't know words. Alright. Now, as I alluded to earlier, let's see, can I get up? No, oh, let's not try yet. I think I need something else. But, as I alluded to earlier, these are essentially invincible boulders. And as you can see, using the break open these gates area. Yeah, I was trying to be clever there. 
There you go. So yeah, you see it didn't break apart when we hit it, so... Alright. Yeah, you can see there was... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't sure for a second that I was just going automatically. But yeah, there was a Poyak plant that we obviously watered. And then here's a, um... Helibud. And a crystal wall, so obviously we're gonna need that windstone. Let's see. I didn't think about what to do here. Alright. this. Hopefully this works. There we go. Now I think the next idol is supposed to be, um... Oh shoot, I think I just wasted a lot of this thing's life. Uh, I think it's supposed to be up from here. Let's see, and... Alright, well let's see what's over here. I think I have to go further up, but um... No, I think that goes forward. All right, so we won't don't want to go there yet. Yeah, I think it's further up though, but I, um, I don't know. I might not be able to get it very. Oh shoot, that's good. All right. Oh well, no, let me go. All right. Jeez, I think I'm. Ah, oh, I gotta get water again. All right, hold on. Just knowing how they have to keep growing this damn thing. Let's see. I need to conserve the amount of time I spend. Let's just get rid of it. I think I'm using this wrong. Let's see. Oh, I gotta regrow it again. Alright. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Well, I know one thing I can do. I can get this thing over there and see what that door does. What was that? That was pathetic. All right, let's get this lit. Or lit. What am I saying? <laughs> All right, and um, oh, okay, this is. All right, now I know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to move that uh, heli bud plant using these torches as kind of go betweens. All right, so yeah, obviously the heli bud uh, seed, and now we're gonna go up here. Yeah, I know. You, we're supposed to move it to that one mill area now, where I, where that Poya plant used to be at the beginning of this room. All right, I got it. And of course, since the water is no longer nearby, this one automatically goes full. All right, now let's see. Now I know I have to get up to the upper right, so let's see. What happens if I bounce off this? It destroys it. All right. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So I gotta do this completely with, uh, slipstreams, I guess. Alright, come on, what was that? No, 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 Ah, oh, come on, no! Ah, uh, I saw the idol, too, I got stuck on that stupid outcrop. Ah, uh, god damn, I have such the worst trouble with this video. Alright, let's, let's, come on. Take three. Come on. No, ah! Uh. Damn it! I can't use Gus when you've used up all your slipstream. All right, I think I know how to do this now. Let's use a Gus to start, and then slipstreams. There we go. All right, got it that time. And there is idle 16. So that's, I believe, six idols since we've gotten started in here. I think we started at 10. First one was 11. So, thank God we're finally done. Um, let's see. Let's see what's in the next room. Um. I'm definitely getting late on in time, but I want to see what's in the next room, otherwise, because if it's a chest, I'll just, um, nah, you know what, screw it. Let's just uh, cut off the video here, because I've gone on long enough. This is Guy Christian 9 with Let's Play Lost Winds, and in the next episode, hopefully I will finish up the mines and find the second memory chest. Hopefully. So I'll see you then, guys.